Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Mary Smart Kenya. In case you're new here, please please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that anytime I post any new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. And for my returning family, thank you so much and welcome back to this channel. For the new subscribers, thank you so much guys for subscribing and welcome to this family. For my premier gang, thank you so much and welcome back to this channel. So today, you're going to be doing uh, my everyday kitchen cleaning routine and also later on we're going to be cooking. So now let's get started. I want to show you how I I store my used cooking oil. I just washed this can. So I'm going to be saving my cooking oil. So the next thing, this is our sieved oil. So I'm going to be throwing some slices of lemon. This is going to help in like neutralizing everything so that because I did some mandazi here, so by the time I'm doing some cheese, it won't smell like mandazi. Another night all alone, fighting off the memories of everything you've said. Tired away, the brightest light, feeling like the ghost of you would keep me up the rest of my damn life. I want to change the curtains so before doing that I'm going to be wiping this rod the curtain rod and then I change my curtains must be you were good for a while weren't we tell me I'm not losing it I've already lost you For the surfaces, I'm going to be using a uh, the surface cleaner. To make it back to how it used to be when we could fall in love with each day. For the kitchen cabinets, doors, I'm using uh, the glass and windows cleaners because they're made of glass. For my oven. 
what I'm going to be washing. For the oven door, I'm using glass and windows cleaner. For cleaning the sink, I just use the normal homemade cleaning detergent. That's my simple daily cleaning routine for the kitchen and this is how everything turned out. What do you think guys? Kindly comment down below.
When it floats, then it's ready. Do you make a chumbi? Before? Yes. Yeah, after me. Now I want to make a chumbari. Only two, we're going to be using one onion. I've just added some salt to make sure it doesn't have that on strong onion taste and then after that I'm going to be mixing with the tomatoes and uh, green capsicum and some lemon and coriander leaves so the next thing I'm going to be doing I'm going to be removing fries and then we let them sit for some few minutes the oil to preheat and then we return them so that they can be crunchy and very soft on the inside. So we are waiting for our cooking oil to preheat. When it's hot enough, we're going to be re returning the, our fries so that they can be crunchy. This is going to be here for like a minute or so and then our fries are going to be ready and then on this other side I'm going to be rinsing our onions so that we can finish with the salsa or kachumbari. Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Our fries are ready So the next thing I'm going to be
all concerned Like we're gonna drown But we both know how to swim No worries, let's go for now Let's take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you are so I usually tap with a kitchen paper towel to remove the extra excess fat. lazy dinner or for a lazy day I only cook like this when I don't feel like cooking or when I'm very busy or tired so I'm going to be mixing uh, red onions and spring onions I'm going to be putting them there and then I'm going to be adding our tomatoes I've used two and then we have a uh, green capsicum And then I'm going to be adding a uh, ginger and garlic paste. This is where you mix everything at the same time. And then for the spices, I'm going to be using uh, two cubes. This is a kg of mutton. No, I'll be using three instead of two and then i'm going to be adding curry powder turmeric beef masala and then black pepper and paprika And then we add our water. Be adding some cooking oil. And then we cook until it's well cooked. It's as simple as that. I almost forgot to add uh, tomato paste. That's it. I'm going to be showing you the progress of the meal. Next, we are going to be making our naan bread. And I'm going to be using how many ingredients? Four, five ingredients. And this is what I'm going to be using. This is two and a half cups self-raising flour. So I won't add any baking powder. Some use yeast, but personally, I didn't like the yeast that I, the one that I used yeast. So, and then I have salt to taste, or you can do one and a half teaspoon. And here we have our butter. This we're going to be using towards the end. And then I'm going to be adding kidogo, very kidogo sugar. For 
for the sugar it's optional you may you can add or not add but personally i'm going to be adding and then i'm going to be using one cup natural yogurt Some add eggs. Okay, you can you can explore the way you want. Some add milk, others add water, but personally I'm going to be using natural yogurt. And then I mix until it forms a dough. It's as simple as that. Let's take it slow. covering with a cling film and let it rest for like 20 minutes and this is how our stew is progressing it's almost done I want the the soup to reduce a little bit and then after that I'm going to be showing you the end product. So our stew is ready. So I'm going to be adding some coriander leaves and it sets. I'm going to be dividing our dough into equal portions. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. I have divided my dough into eight equal parts. And then after this, I'm going to be making into smaller balls, as you guys can see in the video. And then after this, I'm going to be rolling like the, the normal way we roll our chapatis. When cooking naan bread, you don't use any cooking oil or butter, but you're going to be applying the butter when you've already done cooking your naan breads. You cook until it's brown in color, the same way we do with chapels. It's well cooked, as you can see, from both sides. And then repeat the same process with the rest. We took many years ago When I said to you We would never grow old Messages I've saved That I never send Cause I don't know you But I used to back then I remember that The next step I'm going to be brushing with Butter And some coriander leaves For the first time in the back of your car, we passed out counting stars. Promise all these years, we pack our things and disappear. I never thought I would see you here after all this time.
it's very soft and honestly i'm so proud of myself the first time it was a disaster it was it had a very bitter taste i think it's because of the yeast or i used too much yeast but with the self freezing flour it's just perfect so now i'm going to be plating our food and then we enjoy found yourself away out of this small town got a place at school you didn't hang around every day you're far away these streets don't feel the same everywhere is painted with your name so now guys we have come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching till now thank you so much for your support if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so and make sure you click on that notification bell so that anytime I... to my premier gang thank you so much guys for being here till the end i really appreciate you and as antenna sana please like this video share it widely and please tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel until next time bye bye